Well, it's early in the morning, half past eight. Um, I'm trying to do this YouTube channel because I haven't got any money. I'm, I want to make all my money got stolen by the bank and it's not looking good to get any back. Uh, so I'm trying to make a YouTube channel. At the moment, it's not going that well because I'm, I'm not a movie star. But I'm going to do, I've been in Thailand over 20 years now, well over 20 years. And I actually know quite a lot about Thailand. I'm going to take that little sticker off my glasses. That won't come off, okay. It's not important. I know a lot about Thailand. Now, today I'm going to do a little bit about the Thai government hospitals. And in my opinion, they're very good. Very good value. Uh, they're probably not as good as the big hospitals where they're going to fleece you for millions of baht. If you've got insurance, then I will still suggest that you go to these hospitals because maybe they're better. But the government hospitals. Now, I, I stay in Pattaya. So the government hospital I would use if I'm in Pattaya would be the Banglamon Hospital, which is a big hospital. Now, I also have a house in the village. Uh, in Long Ding Dang, near Budilam. Now this is a little tiny hospital, very small. <laughs> uh, it's not the same thing as your Patia one. The Patia one, you have to go, not Nam, nam Bang the Mom one, you have to go. If you want to see a doctor or whatever, you got to go there before eight o'clock in the morning. The earlier you go, the better. What you do when you go there, you have to get one of these one of these cards I have two because one's for the one's for the now what do you do for that you have to go to the counter and you take your passport I know you can't go if you've had a no motorbike accident and your legs hanging off or something stupid like that yeah but if you just got um, they have dentists too so if you've got a toothache then you'd go bang them on if you've got um, something not too bad wrong you would go to bang them on uh, i go my my every three months i go to the village hospital and i get uh, all my capsules for three months i have prostate capsules i have high blood sugar capsules and i get a test every three months for bl blood sugar i have the high blood pressure tablets i have some very strong painkillers for the for my knees that's usually around the 500 baht for everything everything for the for the tests for the capsules and i get a big bag of capsules for 500 baht just over just over 10 quid which to me is reasonable now in the village it's a small hospital the longest i've ever been there including the tests is probably two two and a half hours now if the same thing if i had to go to banglamong uh i would be there if I got there, say I got there at half, five, six o'clock in the morning, I would still be there at seven o'clock at night waiting to see the doctor. And that's not bullshit, that is, that is it. If I needed tests, if I just wanted to go and see the doctor, uh, say I have slight infection somewhere and I want to see the doctor, then you get there at eight o'clock, you could be out by four o'clock if you're lucky. But now what do you do when you go there? you get the card so if you already got the card you go if it's Bangla Mon, you go to the main entrance of the outpatients there's a couple of nurses sitting there in high blood pressure machine you take your blood pressure the nurse you will tell her what's wrong and you say look I've got this that and the other can I go and I want to see a doctor then you will walk inside and there'll be some more nurses uh, you can ask where to go if you don't know where it is and there's three or four nurses and you queue up there you can queue up there half an hour to an hour so if you can't stand make sure you've got a stick okay you can take a chair to sit in if you want to now they will ask you the same questions you, sh you show them the slip for your high blood pressure they'll ask how many kilos you are there's plenty of places to weigh yourself and if you tell them that and then you'll wait another probably two or three hours before you see a doctor now the doctor will tell you say you have an infection you need that you need a 
laboratory test, you need a blood test or a urine test. Then she would tell you to go to the laboratory, lab, 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 to the laboratory, laboratory. I have trouble saying some words sometimes. I know what I want to say, but I'm not particularly good at it. Uh, so you go and get the, the test, which will probably take another hour. Then you've got to, you go back to the, the bit near the doctors and you'll sit there. Maybe you wait another two hours for the test, to, the results to come through. And then the nurse will call you. You get a little number. You get a little number on a bit of paper. Your number could be anything from 1 to 999. And when she calls you, then you go to see the doctor. And the doctor will tell you the results of the test and give you a prescription if there's something wrong. Now, if there's two things wrong with you, now is not the time to ask about the second thing because you would have to do the whole process again and come back the next day. So you've only gone in for one thing. So she will give you a prescription or if it's you need antibiotics, she will send you over to another nurse's department and they give you a antibiotics and injection you have to wait for and then you still have to go and get the prescription from the prescription counter. I think that's room kiosk number 27. That you could also wait an hour for. Then you get your tablets, or you pay, just before you get the tablets, you pay. I find Banglamon about more than twice, maybe three times as expensive as it is in the village. But they have more, I'll come to that in a minute, they have more, but I'll come to that in a minute. Now you, once you've got, you've paid, you will get your, you go and get your capsules, and you've got your capsules, and maybe you have a, an appointment to come back in two weeks, check everything's okay. And that's that. Now in the village, because <clears throat> the hospital was literally five minutes from my house in the village, and my wife's a volunteer nurse, and it's a small village and everybody knows everybody. I go there. Uh, you're gonna ask if they speak English. Well, there's probably a few nurses, there's more than one nurse, there's probably all together that's getting on for 10. There is one or two what speak reasonable English. You can communicate. Now, if you live in the village, you're going to have a Thai wife. You're going to take your Thai wife with you. Whether or not she understands doctor's language and her English is good enough for doctor's language, there's different things. So maybe you could be better off still trying to communicate with the nurses and the doctors in your own English uh, because both of you will know the, 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 the English word or Latin word because most of these illnesses are in Latin so the doctors understand this and you understand it I mean we all understand a lot of the English things what could be wrong they all the doctors and the doctors speak very good English I, I would imagine uh, you maybe couldn't have a conversation with them about world affairs, but doctor stuff, you can say, look, my foot's spoiled, and what do you think it is? Oh, it's gout, yeah. Uh, they understand this. Next time I go, I've got to have, uh, I've got to have tests for the gout in my foot. I asked last time, but I asked too late, and that's why I said don't ask at the same time. I asked, so now I have to go back and, she said, come back three months, and we'll do that on your next test. Uh, yes, yeah, next time my, because I'm having a couple of extra tests. I'm having a uric acid test for the urine and the blood. I will also have a, a blood sugar test. I will get three months supply of capsules and that will probably cost me about 25 pound, just over a thousand baht, I would imagine, all the tests. Uh, every year or so, I go for a PSA test to check the prostate. Um, that's 400 baht. And if I have it done in Pattaya, I get the results the next day. If I have it done in the village, they have to send the the blood sample to Bangkok. It's still 400 baht, and I get the results after a, a little while. Because once, once they've got the blood sample there, they don't have to send it back. They've got computer, and they do it on the computer. So yeah, um, that's what they do. So, well, I was going to say something else. Yeah. Now, each hospital, I'll give you an example. The one in the village 
is they have a little a small lab laboratory but they can't do PSA tests they can do blood sugar tests they can do the normal little tests but they're limited uh, so as I say with the PSA test they can't do there they have to send that away now the same with the doctors uh, it's not a it's not really they've got a, a casualty so if you cut yourself or whatever I I had a big splinter in my foot and I went in there it charged me 200 baht to get it out and then I had to have um, tetanus injections they were about 250 baht a shot uh, the nurse was a man and he was so gentle taking this out I mean it was so gentle taking this splinter out of my foot, I didn't feel a thing. He was excellent. He got this, it, what it was, you know when you got the barbecued chicken, I stuck on, stuck on one of those, and it had been in there quite a while. It turned black, and I was getting a lot of pain from it. And he, he got it out, I didn't feel a thing. He was brilliant. But if this hospital, say you've got something serious, I don't like mentioning, but say they, they can't treat cancer, they can't give you chemo, uh, this you would have to go to Namrong, which is 50 kilometers away, 30 miles away, about 31.1 miles away. Now you'd have to go there for that. Now, uh, if you're there for that, then every year you have to go, they will do the operation there. And every year they will give you, come back for checkup. Uh, sometimes they will say you've got to go for a monogram. So... The village hospital doesn't have a monogram tester. Uh, I forget what it's called. A mon it is a monogram. Lam Rong doesn't have a monogram. So there you have to go to Budilam, which is another 50k away. Then Now for this, you have to make an appointment. To make this appointment for a monogram takes about three or four hours because you have to send, e they, 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 they send an email and then you go to another department, they send an email, and then you have to wait and wait and wait till someone's got time to reply to the email. And then two weeks, three weeks later, you have to go 100 kilometers, 60 miles, just over, for the monogram, which the waiting for that is not quite so long. You maybe have to wait to queue up. You have to do the bit with the card and all that. That takes an hour. I do this for my wife with my wife. And then you have to go... Uh, for the monogram then you have to wait another hour or so for the results probably four hours in and out uh, maybe a bit longer so and each each hospital has its own special part booty lamb can do this if you got you need a I, I don't know what to say you need a hip replacement you ain't gonna get this done in the village you ain't gonna get it done it you might get it done at Namron but they might send you to Colad uh, Colad will specialise in something else. Each place, each of these big hospitals will have a thing they specialise in. So you could be travelling around, which is, for me, it's not the end of the world. It wasn't when I had a car, but now I have everything on a motorbike. When my wife had the chemotherapy, she had to go for six months. Uh, she had a mastectomy, is it? She had cancer in the breast. They took the breast off in and out of hospital one week. But then it, when she had to go for the chemo, we had to go to Budilam, 100 kilometers, 60 miles from the house. You have to leave six o'clock in the morning. And at that time, I only had the motorbike. Before I had the car, now I've lost the car because my money's been stolen. Now I'm back on the bike. When we had to go for that, we had to leave very early in the morning because ideally you want to get there. As soon as it was light, we left. Uh, you register and do this and do that. So two hours gone away. Then she, when they, when they're actually ready for her, they, has, she has to go for a test to check that she has enough red or white blood cells in the body to make sure she can fight the chemo, chemo, make sure she can fight the poison. Basically, a couple of times she didn't have enough. She didn't have enough, so we had to come back empty-handed, so to say which added, it wasn't six times, it ended up eight or nine times, so. But once she has the chemo, we go straight back on the motorbike. Once she come out of the chemo, none of this rest, you may be rest, they, they give you the chemo and they, they seat you there, same they do with the COVID injection. And you sit there for an hour to make sure 
there's no adverse reactions and then it's back on the motorbike 100 kilometers down the road go home and that's how it is don't think you get the chemotherapy in the hospital five minutes around I dare say they do it at Bangamon Patia because that's a big hospital but I don't know for sure so the government hospital will have somewhere a hospital that can deal with you but how far you have to travel but normally the doctor will just give you a, a letter to take to the big hospital maybe he get a bit of commission but he gives the details what's wrong with you which saves time and that's sort of how it works I'll give you one for the dentist later because my phone doesn't have that much storage okay thanks for watching I will make some more of these informational videos anyway thanks from old man Thailand Gardens